this 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 stuff right here i love this stuff we didn't this was not in the plans i'll tell you one thing that we have prayed that the holy spirit would guide our steps each day in every moment and we found this baseball field guys this is, this is really cool who knows what god will do with this our team to get here. We are in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. Check it out. Wait, that's not right. Hold on. Good morning. It is day one. I'm so excited. Um, I got a little bit of sleep last night. Enough. Found some instant coffee. <laughs> we have nothing. We were supposed to stay in a hotel and then we, it, they was all booked and we ended up at this uh, incredible Airbnb that's actually cheaper per night per person. Anyway, we gotta go get some food today. Um, and I don't have my bag. They lost my bag. I sat, oh man. My bag did not make the connecting flight. And so that's disappointing. A beach close by. I got my luggage. We're doing good. Today's been good so far. We're able to get to the grocery store. We're able to sit down, have a little bit of a meet time to discuss some logistics of the week. Now we're just had a couple hours and came to explore this beach a little bit. Lots to eat, not necessarily lots of places to play, but... This pastor that he's working with in Santiago uh -huh. um, told him about this city, village that has Bump. no church. So we're at this, uh, it's called a bate. There's no word in English for it, um, but it's just right in the middle of nothing and it's a bunch of a bunch of Haitians that come and work in the uh, um, what do you call it? sugar cane fields and just labor for a dollar a day and then there's these little uh, housing areas um, right around and so that's where we are right now um, and we we got to uh, meet a pastor and talk to him for a little bit and that was really good asked him some questions um, about literacy and and like his preparation and what he's teaching and that was that was really good well, we found some dinner look at this did not go as expected. We thought it was just gonna be like a logistics day, but we were able to get out and scope out some things. One of the things that I'm trying to do while here is figure out planning for short-term uh, trips from churches and groups and to be able to come. So we got to accomplish a little bit of that today. Anyway, there's the other three guys down there. And they, I'll introduce you to them a little bit later on fantastic guys with this live global organization day two riding in a car with some crazy guys that think we can just take back roads and get where we need to go in a third world country and now we lost okay. it almost worked it almost worked it almost worked <laughs> Back, back to following the GPS. No, <laughs> so we just made a stop. It's called what? Uh, it's, Autovia, yep, right? Yep. Okay. And this uh, school is called the La Unica Esperanza School, uh, on, the the Only Hopes Baptist School. And um, there's about 28 kids here. The oldest is 14. I would say the youngest looked like about three. And uh, the desire is uh, for the church that's kind of running the school wants to 
build a school building out this way a little ways and a church building and continue to reach the kids of this neighborhood. So, cool. All right, so now I'm gonna introduce you to my friend, Mark Riley. He's gonna say something here. So what we uh, learned through some of our um, our trips here is that the, the schools in the Bate, the kids only um, have an education up to about fifth grade, maybe uh, 12 years old. Um, and after that, their schooling is usually done because they have to get transportation to another school and they don't have the money to get, uh, to get that mm -hmm. transportation. So a lot of uh, kids' education in the Bates ends at about the fifth grade level. Um, so what's their future look like? So the future typically is gonna look like them either hanging around all day, um, and then they'll end up usually working in the sugar cane fields, um, probably by the time they're teenagers. Wow, um, and when they work there, how much money would they make in a day? Then it's typically a dollar, maybe two dollars a day working in the in the sugar cane field. That's crazy. All right, we got a little bit of time until we're gonna go meet our pastor, and let's make sure the car's locked, first of all. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. What are we gonna eat? Hey, look, there's a Burger King over there. It's probably better here. Helado. Oh, yeah. Helado. Uh -huh. We went with chicken and patacones. I know what you're thinking. They're called tostones, right? No. I lived in Ecuador. They're called patacones. Oh. Look at that. There's a hole in there. <laughs> so we're looking for some basketballs. We're going to take them back out to the 106, Bate 106. Give them to them. Let's see what we find here. NCAA official game ball. Yes. For only $1,160. Which is like, what, 10 bucks? No, 20. Um, Ish, around 20. Yeah. Yeah. So and I've already shown you so many things that this pastor here is involved in, and we're at another one here. This is an orphanage um, that they have here, and uh, he's not here yet, but um, another guy is, and so we're gonna go ahead and come in and learn and ask questions. ...to be here today. Right. So if you see everything and you grow up, see the pastor working here mm -hmm. for the guys, for God, mm -hmm. and this passion you, you need to do. So yep. the pastor is, very there. Uh, so so yeah. I, I see that, that and I decide to come. Yeah. And awesome. I'm so happy. That's awesome. Y ahora la forma de ser fiel al Señor Jesucristo y el llamado es muy amplia. All right, so you've met a couple of my other friends, teammates, mentors, whatever. I guess you can be a mentor, right? Thank you. I'll, I'll I guess. take it. We'll see. I don't know if he's able to do that or not. <laughs> anyway, this is my friend Mark Sturkin, and I want him to tell you what just happened and what we're working on here. Yeah, God's given us the privilege of being able to be meet Pastor Ramon. Mm -hmm. He is from DR. He's a, he's a pastor here that has a heart for really children. Uh, we have an orphanage here, and uh, he has about uh, nine children that are here right now. They can have a capacity of about 18, 18 yeah. but they want to expand. And so they have all this property here, and they really he cast a vision about what he wants to do. Um, and mm, that was we're, so good. we're here just to say, how can we help? Yes, exactly. To partner with them, and there's so many different ways how right. we can actually. Right. But and, and, and at the same time, never take over, never oh, absolutely. own, never lead what God has called this guy to do, but simply coming alongside. We're the Aaron yeah. or the her to yeah. Moses. That's yeah. exactly Hold it, right. Holding, holding up the arms. Yeah, and we're excited about this possibility. This this guy is a man of God. Oh man, yeah. You he really see. is. Oh yeah, and he gets excited talking about things of God. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, can't shut him up actually. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm, you can see what they have right now and Jonathan's already going to show you, or is going to show you, or yeah. has shown uh -huh. you. Uh, we got some footage in there. I don't know if I said that right, but yeah, yeah, we got some footage in there. Yeah. Cool. Anyway, I just wanted you hey, guys. Words, shut up, Mark. Yeah. Okay, I will. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, the fat lady is singing right now. <laughs> la la la. Uh, someone play the music. Make him stop. No. 
No, but I just wanted you to hear just a little snippet of what this this was a good day. This was a really good day. Good day for me learning and growing in this ministry, seeing partnership development yes. in action yes. was so cool and I can't wait. I mean, I'm already a part of it, but I can't wait to be even more immersed and more. Can I say more? It. Yeah. It's it's not just finances. Yeah, it really isn't. And right. that a lot of people think about that. It's it's how we can bring teams down here yeah. to walk, work alongside them, how we can pray, how we can bring in equipment, um, all kinds of ways, how we can serve them and whatever they want. If we can help, we right. will. Like a big, like they, he's talking about a big event coming up in December. Yes. Yeah, they want to have, they're going to send out what, 2,000 invitations? Yes. They're hoping yeah. for 1,000 people. Hoping here. for 1,000 people. Um, and it's just an outreach, a way to, they're inviting authorities of the city. Like they, you know, yes. they're not, this, this is not on the DL. They want to reach everyone here in the DR. Right. Do you like that? I do. Yeah, that was good. You're clever. Um, <laughs> See why people watch this. So, yeah. So that was that was really cool, and uh, that'll be that's an opportunity for like you're saying, like teams. Like one of the things we're checking out. How can we involve teams? Because if you want to see, you know, your life to be changed, like get on a trip. Yeah. Because God is going to, your world perspective is going to change as a result of coming on something like this. Most definitely. It was a great, great day. Great day. Thanks. Nice to meet y'all. Yeah. (laughs) We're bringing some tables and chairs to this school for some stuff going on later. And I think one of my favorite things about doing that is when all the kids see an American and start practicing their English. Hello, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you? And it makes me think of when I have to also practice my Spanish. Uh, So we're getting these tables and chairs set up actually not at the school. That was just something else. We are bringing these, I think this is owned by the sugar cane company here. I am not 100%, I have to find that out. But this is where we're doing our pastors and leaders training tomorrow. Excited to uh, do that with these guys. So that's gonna be really good. Okay, so in doing all this, we found this baseball field right by where we were unloading everything. And the pastor here, we were like, oh, we wanna go play with them. So the pastor's like, let me go talk to their leader. So that's what we're doing. We might be playing baseball here in the DR, boy. <laughs> all right, so we're in. They are sorting out the teams. They're like, hey, put your backpack in the bullpen. I'm like, uh, I'm gonna get pictures. I don't wanna embarrass any of these people out here by my skills, you know? Yeah, this is another adventure that we could uh, partner with. Um, we have a team over here that, that needs baseball gloves, baseball bats, and baseballs themselves. And we could actually play with the kids, present the gospel with them, you know, just spend time with them. Yeah. yeah. Ministry opportunities everywhere. So a couple, yeah, some of these guys, some of these guys did really, really well just now, but. Oh, you got a triple. Because a I triple. paid it off the wall, Mark. <laughs> to you. Yeah. Oh. This 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 stuff right here. I love this stuff. We did. This was not in the plans. I'll tell you one thing that we have prayed that the Holy Spirit would guide our steps each day in every moment. And we found this baseball field. Guys, this is this is really cool. Who knows what God will do with this?
So right now we're trying to practice going through our eight essential truths that we're going to be doing tomorrow uh, in the pastors and leaders training. And right as it was my turn to practice, I was screaming. Um, and it was pretty funny because it is raining like crazy right now. So it's going to be good. It's going to be really good tomorrow. We're practicing with our translator, this is Ismael. He's an incredible dude, and I can't wait to share his story with you. So now we have stepped into, uh, you're really close because class is going on right now, but stepped into another bate. So this is another little area in the middle of these sugar cane uh, fields where that's what the work is. And there's another organization uh, here that has recently got involved, so we're checking out some of their stuff. Um, amazing organization. And, and so we're at an English class right now. In the name of Jesus, Oh man, come on. I, I am not doing Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. Do it. Go. Go. <laughs> go ahead. Go on. Go on. Yeah, it's not going to do any good, Mark. No. Oh. Okay. So, <laughs> so, yeah, we were at that baseball field. Remember being out there? So, we're buying some gloves to take out there. Yes, sir. Getting, uh, and we're getting like what, four, four. all together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna get four gloves to take out there to them because they actually have a game tomorrow at eight o'clock. We're gonna go out and watch them for a few minutes, take these to them. Hopefully it'll be good, we'll see. Okay, we got the gloves and of course the security thing went off on me. At least that security guard did not have a machine gun on him. But twice, twice it went yeah, off. It went off twice. <laughs> I had to take it back and then it still went off again. Anyway, <laughs> we got them. How fast are we going, Mark? I'm going 90 kilometers right now. 90 kilometers, and that bike is keeping up with that bus. I don't know. Maybe they're not going quite that, but no. Well, I'm, they were earlier. They were going 80 at least. That guy is drafting good. <laughs> you see that? He just picked it up. <laughs> yeah, he just picked it up. Oh man. Yeah. I, Check out these killer T-shirts. I actually created a shadow. A long, wide. Where? waiting for the coach that we met yesterday. They said eight o'clock, it's nine o'clock. Um, so we're just, we wanna gift them these gloves, but haven't been able to yet. So just chilling. Okay, we got the gloves delivered, told them about Salvation a little bit, and that was really good. That's some fire right there. These kids play. Do I have a good side? I don't have a good side. We're back at the 106 Bate. Um, Ismael, who uh, you've met at this point, is about to do a children's program, but I want to get some good drone footage, 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 footage of this Bate so you guys can uh, kind of see that. So. Mark and I are out here and we're about to do that. Hello, donkey. We are currently watching Ismael do a children's class. This is a Saturday morning. He does this every Saturday with this bate. This bate is where he grew up. 
So I just want to take a second as well. He's got his friend up there, uh, David. David is also from this Bate. He's about 17 years old, but you can see that Christ has changed this kid's life. We met him uh, the first day that we were here, and he is just incredibly uh, respectful. And it seems like he loves the Lord, and he's kind of, honestly, a, a guy that God is probably going to use in a big way uh, here locally. Awesome, awesome guy. Well, you've heard me talk about Ismael a lot. Like, he is a person that God is using down here. Anyway, it's just been really cool getting to know him. And we're giving him a ride back into town. It's like 30 minutes, so he doesn't have to take the bus because we just were there with him with the, with the kids. And we're talking about, because we're right by the baseball field. We're right by the baseball field again because this is where our uh, teaching is going on later tonight. And we told him about this baseball coach that we met and how we like, you know, maybe God will allow us to connect with him uh, later on. And Ismael's like, oh, Manolo? Coach Manolo? I know him. I played bass with him at a Baptist church before. And like, what? No way. So who knows what that could turn into. Um, anyway, opportunities everywhere. Ismael just as said, hey, would you guys mind coming down and meeting my future family? So that was pretty cool getting to sit down with uh, Ismael's, he said, future family. Anyway, it was, it was a pretty good time. Time for some brats because it's lunch and we're getting ready to go do some teaching later. Can we get this thing working, dude? No, we need uh, some um, matches, I think. All right, this is the night where we get to do our teaching to these local leaders and pastors. Pretty excited, we have no idea how many are gonna show up, but we're gonna get a lot of really good information. Um, like how many have Bibles? Are they speaking Spanish? Are they speaking Creole? Creole, Because hmm. um, there's a lot of Haitian, uh, a lot of Haitians here. Um, and we're just gonna teach. I get to teach on sin and faith. So I'm excited about that, been preparing for that. Um, so I think it's gonna be a really good night, but it's gonna be a long one. So last night was last night was really good. Um, getting to teach and be a part of that was really, really cool and a humbling experience. Um, I've enjoyed seeing that I have not lost all of my Spanish and that I've been able to communicate um, decent still. And I'm excited for this morning as we're about to go to church. I love singing songs in Spanish, so I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be another good day. We only got a couple left to go on this trip. God has been good. It's been great seeing how he's using um, specific people here as he 
is moving among the people uh, in the DR. Curveball. Okay. okay, what's your speed? What was your top speed? 96. 96. Oh, 96. <laughs> there's, there's a guy here at the church we're at who signed with the Texas Rangers and played with them for four years in minor league. His fastball was 96. And we were playing. Okay, we're at an awesome <laughs> restaurant. I think I'm gonna try something here. He's our uh, videographer. He's our vlogger, videographer, drone, drone flyer. It's Arabic, right? Keep it? Yeah, it's an Arabic American. Oh man, it's so good. That's so good. All right, it seems like we finally found a place that we're gonna like. That, that other thing I already had was called a keep it. Right. Now I got my empanadas coming. I have a, we have a shrimp one, a chicken one, and a beef one still coming. Yeah, yeah. Rice, beans, maduros, tarsones. I picked that up. All of it. It's good to have you. Mede's church, he's the one that helped us set up all the pastor's training stuff. Excited to be here tonight, we're gonna teach a little bit. They already started because we got lost, but it's gonna be good. So it's our final day and we're coming to another bate. So we're just, uh, we're showing some people around here to, you know, for future ministry opportunities. And uh, so last day, I think it's gonna be good. We got a little bit going on, but it's not like all the other days. We're kind of winding down here. So another, another uh, oh, is that, lo is that locked? Okay. Uh, one of the big things we have to do on this trip is a lot of survey, which means checking out spots to bring groups because, man, you want to help people experience life uh, change than it is through these mission trips. So we're just looking at a room. I'll let you see. It's a nice hotel. So uh, just outside of the city, easy access to all those bates and everything that we've been going to. So this trip is winding down. Um, we get to meet with a couple of, uh, couple of guys that God is working through in this area we're gonna meet with them in a couple hours i think but trip is almost over um but it's been really good well it's time for the covid test no um yo uh vendo cosas en the internet well, it's our last night. We came down to the beach to get something to eat because it's the closest to where we are. Got to finish it off good. This is Hugo de Piña. Pineapple juice. About to find out. <laughs>